Uh, can we talk? I just want to talk. I just want to talk to the girl. Like, I just want to talk to the girl. Like, wh what? Y'all, don't be surprised if I run out of this product and buy it again because I will. If somebody was to tell me I was wearing foundation right now, I'd say you're lying, even though I know I did my makeup. They know their role, they know their position, they understood the assignment. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Dominique. If you are new here, please make sure that you are subscribing to this channel and like this video if you liked it. All right, y'all, so this is, a, this is a video that I've never done on my channel before and it is very, very new to me. I wanted to do a video that is pretty much like my holy grails kind of different from a favorites video because one minute you could like really like it the next minute you might not like it um or the next month you might not like it or you might not purchase it again but these are products that i would continuously purchase over and over and over and over and over and over again <laughs> okay it could be one or two things these are products that i've been using for years or over the past year that i purchased time and time again or these are products that i love so much at the moment that i know for a fact once it's done with i'm gonna go out and buy more or i might just buy more before i'm even done with it because that's how much i love it i am going to break them up into a few different categories this is not just going to be beauty products it's going to include beauty hair sanitary products over 21 type of product you know type of item okay like, so let's go ahead and just do a deep dive let's just let's just jump right into it all right so i want to start off with some hair products these two products are products that i will continuously buy no matter what and these are products that i've purchased time and time again over the past few years they're from the brand tgin if you are a part of the natural hair community then you should know all about tgin they are a black owned woman owned brand y'all and this these two products have my heart and i will always buy these products it doesn't matter if they're on sale or not i'm buying them first up is the honey miracle hair mask this is probably like my fourth fifth jar of this i just i love it so much it smells amazing it makes my hair and i have 4c hair like i have i have tight 4c hair okay this hair mask does the job every single time it has so much slip and what that means is that once you put this product in your hair your fingers after detangling don't get me wrong okay after detangling your fingers should be able to run right through through your hair the way that i like to use this is since it is a hair mask i like to leave it in with some heat so what i'll do is i'll put it on my natural hair after my hair is completely washed my hair has to be clean okay then i will put this on my hair from root to tip and when i say i sat you i'm very ha heavy handed with this product okay I, because i love it so much i want all my strands to feel the love so after the product is saturated in my hair i will put a shower cap on and then i will put my hooded dryer over my head and sit under the hooded dryer for at least 30 minutes and y'all my hair drinks this product up. It loves it so much. So if you are part of the natural hair community and you haven't tried out TGIN's Honey Miracle Hair Mask, please, please, please do so. I want to say I promise you, you cannot go wrong with this product, but I don't know. I don't want to, I, I, I don't want to say go and get it and you don't like it. But me, I'm going to keep buying it every single time. Yep. Uh-huh. Yes. Yep. Yes, I am. It's called Honey Miracle for a reason. It smells delicious. It smells so good. It just it just smells like wash day and I'm I'm afraid. I, I want to put it away now because I don't want to think about wash day. And y'all did see me show another product which is their butter cream, their daily moisturizer. This butter cream, you don't need a lot. A little goes a long way. Y'all, this this moisturizes my hair on another level. My hair feels moisturized for at least a week. The moisture that gets entrapped into my hair strands is unmatched because this product is amazing this daily this buttercream also smells very very good mm, it just the the consistency is pretty thick as well the honey miracle mask isn't as thick as this consistency but it is still pretty thick but this y'all i just i feel like it's just amazing it's so good and there's one more product that i didn't show let me go get it what am i doing another product from tjn that i will always buy this is again like my fifth sixth bottle i even buy these bottles for my mom <laughs> like i got my mom hooked on them it's a family thing at this point they're moisture rich sulfate free shampoo do you see how much i got left like i don't think y'all understand like there's nothing left in this bottle but I'm gonna have to buy another one because it's 
It's my favorite shampoo. If I'm ever in need of, sh of a shampoo, I'm not thinking twice about it. If TGIN is sold there, I'm picking it up. If you're interested in seeing how I use these products in my hair, I already have a video up on my channel. I think it's about a year ago, but the process is still the same. I will leave it linked in the cards up above and in the description box for your convenience so that way you can check it out there. All right, that is it for hair care products. Let's move right along to beauty items. Anything lip bar related when it comes to their liquid lipstick, Count me in. Count me in. It does not matter. Any of their liquid lipsticks is going to do the trick. It's going to get the job done because you know why? They don't move. They don't move. They know they roll. They know their position. They understood the assignment. They're going to do what they said they're going to do and they're gonna stay on your lip. These two here, specifically, this one is Savage and then this one is Boss Lady. If there's one lipstick from the lip bar that you need, it's it's boss lady especially for this season it is the most perfect deep red okay it's it's a year-round red like you could wear this in the summertime with a nice white top just mm, a pop of color you could wear it in the fall with a nice red dress like for the season for the for the winter season it's don't get me started now mind you although i've worked with the lip bar before it I was using the lip bar before the lip bar even knew who I was, okay? I was a consumer of the lip bar, period. And I'm gonna continue to support that brand. You all see me use it time and time again in my videos, on Instagram, on TikTok, it's just, so yes, the lip the lip bar liquid lipsticks, they did something when they did, when they created this. These are products that I'm gonna continue to buy no matter what. The Morphe eyebrow pencil, this is probably like, again, my sixth, seventh purchase of this pencil i love them so, i love this eyebrow pencil so much i usually buy them like two three at a time they're five dollars each really inexpensive and you can find them at ulta and you know ulta has rewards so you rack up on the rewards Ulta's always giving out coupons like it's just it's a it's a match made in heaven ulta and morphe if there's ever one product that i'm ever gonna buy from morphe it's going to be their eyebrow pencil outside of their brushes because their brushes are actually really really good i'm in the shade java which is a dark brown color it's amazing. The pencil itself is really, it's pretty skinny and it gets the job done. It's an amazing, it's an amazing eyebrow pencil. And again, it's really inexpensive. Five, six dollars max. Girl, go get your eyebrow pencil. Stop. Do your eyebrows. Next up is a NYX product, y'all. This is not, if you, if you don't know about Abu Dhabi, if you don't know about London soft matte lip creams, where have you been? Can we talk? I just want to talk. I just want to talk to the girl. Like, I just want to talk to the girl. Like, wh what? This is in the shade Abu Dhabi. This is their soft, this is NYX's soft matte lip cream. It dries down really matte. It's the perfect cream nude lipstick for dark skin, especially with a brown liner. Oh, need I say more? So yes, Abu Dhabi or London, either one of those are going to work for our for the dark skin baddies, the dark skin girls. If you are my skin tone, get you get 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 it. Another beauty product. It is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Tell me this Pro Concealer didn't have a chokehold on the girls. Fun, toffee, beautiful bronze. Oh okay. Oh uh, okay. Yeah yeah. Pipe down. You knew what it was. You knew what it was when you walked into that beauty supply store. You knew. Come on, this concealer is going to be a holy grail, period. No matter what, to the girls, to the girls that know, you know. The girls knew what it was, all right? When you were going into the beauty supply store, you knew you were picking this up. Again, this is a product that I've been using since undergrad, since 2011, 2012. This concealer is going to do the job, period, no matter what. From what I've noticed, the formula has never changed up on me, ever. The colors are the colors, and that's just what it is. This is in the shade Toffee. Hmm. Toffee had the dark skin girls in a chokehold though. We didn't know how to blend back then, but we on it now. At the moment, I'm using Too Faced Concealer in the shade Butterscotch, which is what I have on right now. And it's also in my everyday makeup tutorial that's on my channel. But would I keep buying that $40 concealer, $30 concealer over and over and over again? Not necessarily, like, not necessarily. I don't think so. But for sure, this... I don't, have to, I don't have to think twice about this concealer. I will purchase it in a heartbeat. Now, will I buy the Too Faced concealer again? Yes. Yeah, if I'm if I'm in the mood or if Ulta gives me a coupon, then yes. But this is something that I don't need a coupon for. Like, I just pick it up. Have you or a loved one ever been in TJ Maxx and in the beauty section and you've seen 
brushes that were either on sale or only $5.99 named Japanesque? Yes. These Japanesque brushes will be brushes that I will pick up when I see them in TJ Maxx, no matter what. They are really, really good. They hold up very, very well. They're super soft. This is dirty, I know, it is what it is. I, I think I have like two of these, two or three of these. And then if I see this one again, I'm probably gonna buy another one of these Japanese brushes. Oh, let me tell you, this is an angled brush that I use to contour and then also put on my blush with. This is the Japanesque 961 brush. That's how it looks. And then this is a brush that I use to blend out my contour with, my cream contour. You know, I actually use this for my cream contour. I've been using this for my cream contour lately, but this is also a brush that I use for my cream contour if I just wanna blend some other things out on my face. This is the Japanesque 718 brush. I'm telling you, if you are in TJ Maxx, Marshalls, wherever they, Home Goods, I think maybe might have them in like their little beauty section. Do they have a beauty section? Home Goods doesn't have a beauty section. Sorry, y'all. I'm thinking of the Home Goods and TJ Maxx stores combined. If you see a Japanese brush, pick it up. If you need it, pick it up. They're normally, they're usually on sale for like three, four dollars. But if they're not on sale, the the most expensive Japanese brush I've seen in TJ Maxx was probably like twelve ninety nine or nine ninety nine. They're super inexpensive and they get the job done. Rubia's Place Cream Contour Stick. <laughs> you will always get my money. Listen. I bought two of these at once, okay? I tested it out. Zoe, hey Zoe girl, if you're watching. Um, one of my line sisters had this contour stick. She allowed me to use it. Fell in love ever since. I went on Juvia's Place's website and purchased two of them. Very inexpensive. I think at the time when I purchased them, they were like five, no more than seven dollars. These contour foundation, contour slash foundation sticks, the truth. It's a cream contour. Mine is in the shade Congo. I think this is the darkest shade that they have. And as long as they don't discontinue it, I'm gonna keep buying it. <laughs> now, for example, the Milk Hydro Grip Primer is a product, this is my first time buying it. This is my first bottle. Now, I can't say that I would buy it again, but if I had to buy it again, I would absolutely in heartbeat buy this product again. I love the consistency. I love the way it feels on my face. This product would be like a favorite. This is, wouldn't necessarily be like, a oh, holy grail, I have to keep buying it, buying it, buying it over again. Because in my heart of hearts, knowing that I'm buying a primer for like $35, it doesn't really sit well with me, you know what I mean? When I could just buy another primer that's cheaper than that, maybe like 20, 25. But the consistency of this makes me want to mention it in this video because I wouldn't be surprised if I bought this in a heartbeat without thinking about it. If you have this Milk Hydro Grip Primer, you know what it is, you know how you feel about it, if you like it and it's really good i just love the consistency and how it feels on my face and i feel like my makeup really does adhere to my face better because of this product so yeah scratch that we're gonna put this mm, i don't know i don't know if i'd buy it again but i don't know for sure if i would out if i have to think about it then it's a no i don't think i would like outright hurry up and go buy this again if i could test out another primer that's a bit more reasonably priced then i would but if I had to buy this again, y'all, don't be surprised if I run out of this product and buy it again because I will. Another beauty product. <laughs> I didn't think I had that many beauty, beauty products, but I do. It's the NARS foundation. This is their, dang, I don't know. Oh, it's the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation, y'all, in the shade Namibia. Namibia? Girl, this foundation makes my skin look so flawless it's sickening although i feel like i have a typical skin tone it's like i never find the perfect foundation shade and although this isn't like my perfect foundation shade it blends in like no other and once i'm done with like my highlighting and the content this is like this this is pretty much becomes my perfect foundation shade um it is a little red for me but i don't mind it i would rather my foundation be a little too dark than too light and i've run into that issue where my foundation would be a little too light than too dark if that makes sense so this foundation and the finish and the way that it feels i have it on right now I, i'm not wearing anything at this point if somebody was to tell me i was wearing foundation right now i'd say you're lying even though i know i did my makeup i will purchase this foundation again in a heartbeat i don't care how much it is i'm gonna buy it again <laughs> all right that is it for the beauty products let's move on to skincare this is the Pond's Dry Skin Cream. Y'all, 
when I get out the shower, listen, although I don't consider my skin to be dry, I kind of think it's like combo to normal skin. It doesn't matter. I'm wearing this dry face cream, <laughs> this dry face cream, <laughs> this dry skin cream, facial moisturizer. This is it. I've been using this Pond's product for over a decade now. This is what I'm using to moisturize my face all the time. I don't think I've ever veered away from this face moisturizer. I don't think I've ever tried any other, like consistently used another face moisturizer outside of this Pond's one. I will always pick it up no matter what. Do not get the generic brand. It does not, it's not comparable. Like if you get the Walmart version of this, what is it the equate do not get the equate version of this get the ponds because it's nothing is going to compare to ponds if they say oh it's comparable to ponds because it's not trust me spend a few more dollars and just get the ponds brand i love this product although you know you do have to dip your hand in there to get the product it doesn't matter to me i'm gonna continue to buy this product over and over again because i've been doing it for the past decade <laughs> like it's not going anywhere it's gonna stay in my um it's gonna stay in my skincare routine no matter what period another product did you guess this one uh, okay it's the black girl sunscreen y'all this product is so good i honestly if i'm traveling and i don't have my ponds with me if there is black girl sunscreen around i'm using it as a moisturizer it's it works just it works well as a moisturizer it's like a two for one it moisturizes your face and you get spf in it amazing that's the only thing that ponds doesn't have is an spf which is fine i don't i don't care i just love that product i'm gonna buy it regardless but this spf really good i purchased it from my mom my sister uses it i told her to get it from my nephew like they have a children's version get it from my nephew like i love the fact that i'm able to support a black owned business when i do purchase this product and the fact that it's in target it's easily accessible either it, whether it be online or in person it is spf 30 and it's infused with jojoba and avocado y'all it's a really it's a it's a pretty good moisturizer and an spf all in one it doesn't leave a white residue and it doesn't like irritate my skin or make my skin feel weird mario badescu facial spray this is what i use as a setting spray for my makeup it's what i have on today it's it just melts into the skin i love the spray let me show y'all i don't know if y'all would be able to see i love the mist oh, just come back just come back they do have different scents. This is the herbs and rose water. I think they have a cucumber one and a lilac one or a lavender one. Yeah, a lavender one. I've tried all three. I used to always get the cucumber one, but I switched up and got the herbs and rose water. This is a product that I have purchased back to back time and time again. I will probably never not use the Mario Badescu facial spray because it's, it's that girl. It's that good. Next up is the Ordinary's Vitamin C Serum. I love this. It gives a glow, like it gives a glow like no other. I usually mix, I don't, I usually don't apply this without applying my face cream. I will, cause it, it gives like, it has a grainy texture, but if I mix it into my Pond's face moisturizer, it's just, it gives a, an amazing glow. If y'all ever watch my vlogs and my face looks shiny and moisturized, it's literally because of this vitamin C serum. This vitamin C serum is the, is a key ingredient for glowy skin, okay? It's really inexpensive. I think it's under $10, seven, five to $7, I believe, and you can get it at Ulta. Again, add on to your Ulta reward points, get your coupons. You can literally buy this for like $2. Moving right along to body product. This is going to be the Moisture Care Coco Divine Body Oil Gel by Equate. This is I, this is a dupe for the, let me see, I think it's comparable, yeah, comparable to Vaseline Cocoa Radiant Vitalizing Body Gel Oil. Whew. It literally looks the exact same. It leaves a glow. Do not, let me repeat, do not put this product on your hands and go touch something. It will leave a residue. It's also a product that I will take with me on vacation. Like, it, it doesn't matter because it just, it's, it's really good and it has, um an amazing scent it smells like cocoa butter kind of it smells like cocoa butter um and it's just nice i mean it smells really good let me go ahead and show y'all so this is how it looks like look at that wipes okay wipes good wipes wipes changed my life okay these good wipes wipes good wipes wipes wait good wipes wipe 
Or what I use in the restroom, if you know, you know, okay, you get it, all right, bet. Product that I purchased from Target. I think they're only sold in Target stores um, and online. First seen Good Wipes in Target in like the feminine care section, and I purchased those. Like It's a little box, and I think the scent is like a rose water. It's for feminine care. And then they sent me over some wipes in the mail just as like a gift, like a PR gift. They reached out to me and they wanted to send me over some wipes and I kindly obliged. And I haven't been, I haven't stopped using them since. When I went to Target, the last time I went to Target to pick these up, I purchased like two packages of them and they each come in a package of two. You can get them bundled up or you can buy them separately, but they only had the bundle deal and I just, I just bought two of them because I just love these so much. They really wipe away all the residue <laughs> and they are based out of Atlanta. So I feel good about that. Um, and the people over at Good Wipes are super, super sweet. And it's hypoallergenic, plant-based, and toxin-free. toxin, toxin -free. This is the super fresh one. The packaging is really cute. It's like this marble packaging, if y'all can see, like, subtle. Really good. I love it so much. Last product is for 21-year-olds and older. It is a bottle of wine. I rant and rave about Jam Jar's wine because it's just... It's a holy grail. Like, it's a wine. It's a comfort wine. I know that when I purchase that wine, it's going to be good and it's going to get me right. Like, that wine is never not going to be a wine that I would look at and be like, I'll never buy you again. Like, I will continue to buy a jam jar wine. I just don't have it to show you all, but I will leave it up on the screen. Now, outside of that wine, though, we're moving on to a different wine. I want to say that this wine is stronger than a jam jar wine. And it's it's still pretty sweet, but it's very strong. It has, like, a matte, like... It just has a, a like a punch to it, if that makes sense. Like it's a like a masculine type of taste. Like it it's heavy, but it's still sweet, and it gets you right. The percentage I think is like twelve percent, so it's a little less alcohol content than the jam drop, but still like same wavelength. They're still gonna do the same thing. They have different flavors that you can um, test out. Usually I just stick to what I like and that's just it. But that's a really good wine that you definitely should try out because it's, it's if you like jam dry wines, you're definitely gonna like this one. And if you like a sweet red, you're gonna like it, but it's gonna be different than your typical like sweet red. It's gonna, it's still gonna be sweet, but just with a little bit more of a punch. That is it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed this type of video, this type of content. If you did, please go ahead and make sure you like this video. Leave me a comment, a comment down below. If you have any of these products and you love it, let me know, share your thoughts. Um, if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Like this video if you liked it. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already, as well as TikTok, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye y'all.